It's a very tough follow-up presentation uh, after the new one done by the CEO of Leo Master, uh, because you know that really gives a very outsider perspective to India, and, uh, and I think there's quite good amount of data in terms of the kind of internet consumption and the device consumption which is happening. Uh, I'm thinking now that, of course, my topic is very similar to what he spoke about, but let me now try to rephrase all the content and information I have here very much from an insider's perspective. Uh, and I also would like to invite my colleague Rui uh, on the floor. Uh, Rui can just join me up here. Hi, uh, So Rui uh, will help me out in the presentation. Uh, so we thought, uh, let's talk in a way about India from an uh, insider's view. And Rui will try to share comparisons from a China perspective that how far behind we are uh, to China today. Great. So let's talk about the mobile Indian. So we saw that great video, right? People are carrying mobile phone everywhere. And uh, you know, people are thinking that mobile and internet will change our life, our perspective. Very true, very, very true. But this is the reality, and that's the reality which I would like to share with everyone. Numbers, India is awesome, right? We are equally, or I think so, we might be a little ahead of China in terms of population now, because we don't have any population control. Uh, and, yeah, you know, and we have no electricity, dark at night, so stuff happens. But yeah, so a, a population of around 1.25 billion people, today the number which is claimed by the Indian Internet Association is that we have around 370 odd million people uh, who are on mobile internet, almost around 100 million smartphones which got sold out. And you know, hopefully I think so behind China, uh, you know, by next year, we will be the second largest economy. Now, this is all available everywhere in the world. Everyone knows about this. But if you look on the right hand side, I want to really talk about where this Indian is. What does this Indian look like? What does he really do? Some interesting stats. Globally, and you know, if you look at mobile internet in general, the global stats for females in India, or in comparison to females globally, is that it said that there are 38% uh, uh, female consumers on mobile internet already, which is very different to the global stat of 17%. A uh, lot of people who come to India come with a misconception that you know we do not treat uh, the female gender equally. Uh, we do not uh, you know create opportunity for the female gender. Uh, but I think so that's not true for technology. Females are the decision maker at home. My wife, you know, when I was trying to buy an iPhone, she made me buy a gold iPhone six, and I don't know why I'm still carrying it. But she really made me buy because females are one of the biggest influencers or any kind of product, a technology product which you wish to buy. Another interesting stat, again, from an Indian perspective is that when people look at India, right, either we think of villages, we think of farmland, we think of cow, we think of agriculture, or we think cities, we think Delhi, we look at Mumbai, like these are two big capitals. But very surprisingly, if you look at how internet is emerging, Mumbai and Delhi, practically came on internet four years back. So this is not where the real growth is coming in. The real growth is coming in from tier two cities. And uh, like one of the points that Vishal made in his presentation uh, is that, and uh, I'm forgetting the name of the gentleman from Misfit, is that India is like Europe. We have 30 different countries merged into 30 different states into India. Now, every state have their own capital, have their own political system, have their own people and culture. So now these states are becoming their own centers. So if you look at the names, right, Kolkata, which is in West Bengal, which is another state in India. Chennai is down south, one of the fourth largest cities in India. Suddenly there are cities emerging onto the internet landscape. I'm sorry, I just skipped that slide, uh, which never existed. So I think this is the true mobile internet, this is the true India, and mobile is definitely changing all the definition. We would like to compare it with China. How? <laughs> 
，对吧？然后这这方面的话，发展的样样式都是这样子。然后就是中国呢，就是现在印度，刚才也说 ，Leo Master 也说了，就是现在是第二个中国，也是啊、呃，我们现在的在印度的移动互联网的用户也差不多在，可能在于中国一零一二年的时候，就我可能我刚刚回国的时候，所以也也现在那个 catch up 也挺快的。然后比起来的话呢，刚才也说的，就是印度的现在政府这块也也发达的比咱们国内的那个那个怎么说呢，压力会少一些，所以他们会更快。Yeah, And lastly, I think so. What is what is important is that whenever people talk about India, they say that all the Chinese companies, because uh, for us as SVG, we are entry partner to a lot of global products coming into India. Uh, so people say, hey, you will have. 400 million mobile internet consumers in India, you will have 600 million consumers, uh, we should start investing in India, it's going to be a big market. But here is the problem, right? In India, why mobile phone is growing, even television is still growing. It has not stopped. And that's why when every day I wake up running my company thinking that, hey, mobile is growing, and every, every advertiser in our market will wake up and say, hey, I need to do mobile, uh, I'm still not moving the needle because television is not dead. There's a lot of ad dollars which are still going into the television market. So that's something very unique about India. We're still waiting. Actually, 就是 actor actress 他们弄的东西，然后就刚才 Leo Master 那个就是广告，最后看的视频，就就这么大，这么这么大的一个区别，然后在跟国内。所以现在呢，虽然我们移动互联网这块越来越多，然后用户也多，但是我们在做移动这块的广告呢，也必须得考虑现在电视上的广告也挺多的，所以不光是移动上的，就是在 focus 还是挺大的。So, you know, who exactly is this consumer, right? And, you know, now let's talk about this consumer from a telecom standpoint, from a device standpoint, what are they really using? So again, a very interesting stats. And these are a few questions which a lot of the Chinese companies have been asking me over the last one, one and a half year uh, since I've been coming. Who is this consumer who I'm really building my products for? So India as a market is a prepaid market. 95, I think so even that's less, 97% of our market uh, is, is prepaid consumers. People who first uh, buy money, they are not given any credit. There are other reasons why they don't give credit to people. But yeah, that's reality. Secondly, most of the growth of mobile devices which have happened in India have happened only over the last one and a half, two years. Uh, before that, mobile phone was still a luxury item. A lot of the people even could not afford the right price device. Thanks to Google and their initiative of launching a $100 phone with the local manufacturer, Today, the average smartphone device uh, your lifetime for a consumer has come down to 10 months. He's happy to change phone to his style, to his luxury, to remain updated and fashion. Uh, another interesting data point, uh, I think so, and that's why companies like Leo will do good in India, is that we are a very, uh, uh, I think so, we are very cautious on how do we use mobile data, because mobile data is very, very expensive. Very expensive for the Indian economy. On an average, a consumer use around roughly around 90, 95 MB of mobile data every month. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much about it. And that's the large, large set of users. Uh, most of the consumers still use a mobile phone to talk. Uh, and, and the reason being for that is I think so, uh, one point I disagree uh, with the founder of your master is that in India, English is looked up as a language of aspiration. Definitely because we were ruled by the Britishers, so we think that is a language of uh, the educated person. But in reality, what mobile internet is really changing for India is that it is enablement, especially thanks to the new video format, the better data speed, it's becoming a visual channel. And that is where we expect the growth to come. People in India, or why internet will grow in India, is that people, a lot of people don't even know how to write or read in the local Indian languages. Forget English. They don't even know how to write and read in the local languages, but they can talk they can understand. So the growth in India for mobile internet is going to be because it will be a visual channel. People will be able to uh, experience content uh, in the similar format, in the similar way on which they are uh, used to talking to each other. I think that's where the growth is going to be.
the other interesting uh, stat, I'm just, again, my slider is, I'm, I'm here. From, I'm, we can talk about more about the India-China comparison here. Um, this part, I would say, is, Indo 看新闻啊什么的 uh, so rightly said, I think so in the last presentation, free is cool, free AM is better. Uh, we love stuff given to us for free. Uh, it's not that we love, I think so a lot of people can't afford uh, the high data cost. A lot of people cannot afford uh, a lot of things to buy, buying food, Buying the basic necessities is still important uh, for a lot more Indians who are coming online. Uh, but again, very interestingly, if you look at the usage behavior of internet, it has changed over the last two years. Today, uh, people, and if I was to do a presentation two years back, 40% of the consumers were using internet once a week. Uh, that also because of affordability uh, uh, challenges. Or there was not even a need to use internet other than doing emailing. Uh, but today, very clearly, internet has become part of people's daily life, and people have, especially thanks to messaging, uh, uh, void, uh, void calls happening on WhatsApp, it's become a daily use and need for others. Uh, very important from a money standpoint, I think so. Uh, today, mobile has started to see money coming in. Just some stats for you guys. I think so, in-app advertising is becoming sexy in India. Uh, more venture capital money has started to come into the format, and I'll talk about it that in the next slide. Again, a uh, very interesting stat. This is a very important question everyone asks. Will you download my app? Can you get me a lot of users in India? This is the reality. 90% uninstall rate. Please be ready for that. We don't have enough space on our phones. We can't download your app. We will try it. We will try to keep it. But if you do not have a very differentiated product which changes my life, I will uninstall it. Because I need to keep space on my phone for my selfies. I need to keep space in my phone uh, for keeping Bollywood music, for videos. That is my phone need for. The other interesting problem, which is very unique to India, is that when you're creating product, we don't have app stores like China. You have dozens of app stores. We are still dependent on Google Play. So app discovery is broken in India. Uh, a lot of Chinese companies are coming into India trying to solve that problem, but it still remains broken. So again, that's an interesting area. And suddenly over the last six months, I've seen a lot of growth of third party app stores. So app stores are becoming sexy for in India. Transportation,什么 Lastly, I think so, uh, very interestingly, today, this is the problem when you look at monetization. There is too few digital dollars uh, running after a lot of audience. Like I said, because television is growing, because television is still a $1.5 billion industry, 
you know, we in the digital industry are still suffering to attract a lot of the brand dollars. Uh, but because of video, again, like I said, because of the kind of growth or the opportunity 4G is creating, we will see that the Indian industry will practically double up in terms of the ad dollars within the next uh, 12 months. So uh, this was a slide which, which uh, a friend of mine suggested that I must add. This is about where is the venture capital going because honestly speaking in the Indian market, the PNGs of the world, the Unilevers of the world, uh, the brands of the world are still not putting as much money into mobile advertising as we think it they should be. Uh, most of the money is being spent by the venture funded large companies, the Flipkarts of the world, the Ola Caps of the world, the OTTs of the world. So the growth of the mobile advertising ecosystem is a 100% correlation to how the venture money comes into the market. Right now, if I, if I talk about the venture market, and this is, you know, I'm, I'm an angel investor myself. Uh, as a group also, we invest in a lot of the companies. These are the interesting space where we see over the next 12 to 24 months, uh, there are interesting deals happening. Either they are late stage investments, either they are early series A investment. A uh, lot of people were talking about, there was an article last week about PepperTap, which was a grocery uh, company in India shutting down uh, the grocery app. Again, uh, it's a tough category, but we still see that there'll be enough money uh, getting into this category. Food tech has become sexy. Uh, it was quite crowded last year. Uh, we'll see a lot more food delivery or maybe restaurants in clouds kind of companies uh, which will continue to attract investment. Healthcare, we saw Vishal make a presentation. I think he's doing a great job. There are more people who are trying, uh, looking at this space. Uh, O2O and mobile wallets. Uh, I'm, I'm at least tracking around another set of 40, 45 companies people who have raised anything between half a million dollars to two million dollars uh, and will be up for more investment. And all this money, creating apps, uh, marketing dollars for everyone in this room who are creating products uh, for our market. But one important point, I think so from the previous presentation, which I really liked is that when you are creating, if you're spending time creating products for India and thinking that I need to localize, I need to first create a product in Hindi, I need to create product in, uh, in our local other languages. I think so, uh, it's gonna be a waste of time. You can take English as a medium, as a channel to begin with, but if you really want to succeed in India, if you really wanna put pressure, where you need to spend time is to create an app which is intuitive and usable for someone who does not even understand or cannot read or write in any language. Make it a visual channel, make it a visual product, your product success is, is more guaranteed. Oh, which are, which yeah, out, of time, out of time. And lastly, what, what, uh, what uh, allows me to talk about India is about us. Uh, you know, SVG has, like I said, has been one of the largest uh, digital entry partner for global products. Uh, let that be, we still uh, exclusively represent Twitter in our market. Uh, we've helped a lot of the other Chinese companies. We are partnering in helping them enter India. Uh, so if you need help, if you're building products for India, you need more intelligence, you need more information, we are around here, we're happy to help you out. Thank you, thanks very much.